Hello, fire signs. Today we're going to be doing your mid-month June 2018 tarot update. So what we're going to do is pull three cards for each of the different signs in your element. That is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We're also going to pull a Romance Angel Oracle card, and we're going to pull a Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle card for additional guidance, okay? All right, we're going to start with Aries. <clears throat> Aries. Aries, mid-June 2018 from now to the rest of the month. Well, one flew out. Okay, two flew out. Wow, Aries. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, somebody wants to talk to you. <laughs> All right, okay, let's see. One more for Aries, please. One more for Aries. Okay. Oh, Aries. All right, here we go. Aries, some of you guys are dealing... Okay, let's talk about the cards. We have Justice reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed, and the Six of Swords reversed. Ah! All right, you have a lot of air energy here, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The other thing that I can tell you is with the Justice card reversed, um, you might be dealing with a Libra. Things might not be going so dandy, okay? Um, the other thing here is that legal matters may be coming into play in the next two weeks. Um, you may be waiting on some sort of verdict. Um, this could also be a warning to some of you guys. Make sure you're not parking illegally, drinking and driving, uh, doing anything that might cause you to get a ticket or have to go to court, okay? Um, Others of you may be waiting again um, on a court date or something to um, come in for you with regard to court matters. Others of you, because this is very general, okay, um, this could be a card of being treated unjust or unfairly, okay? So there might be somebody in your midst that's just being really unfair to you. All right, Aries, um, the next card we have is the Ace of Swords Reverse. This could be a you know, fresh start that you're trying to get off the ground, something you were hoping was going to be very victorious and has not come to fruition yet. Excuse me. Um, others of you, it could be a lack of communication. You could be blocking someone, okay? Um, or somebody could be blocking you, just cutting off communication entirely, all right? Um, for some of you guys, too, uh, with this Ace of Swords reverse, it's almost like um, you're waiting to make a move here, okay? Um, this could be also, sometimes we see this card with arguments, okay, because swords are communication, they are, you know, things like that, so um, every now and then when this pops up, we do see this happen or come through when somebody maybe gets into an argument with someone, so do be on the lookout um, for somebody that might be just trying to push your buttons and treat you a little bit unfairly there, Aries, okay? Um, six of Swords reversed, okay, kind of something that you thought you had left behind before, something that was troubling you. Um, and this could be very, you know, this could be any part of your life, work, you know, some a, a particular person, um, a relationship, just anything, okay? Something that you left behind may rear its ugly head again in the next two weeks. So do be prepared for that. This could all be the same person linked, okay? Um, somebody that is maybe treating you unfair, that maybe blocked you for no reason, but then they come back around. Uh, somebody that you cut ties with completely with this Ace of Swords reverse, and now they're trying to make their way back into your life. This could be applicable to you as well, so energies can be reversed. Um, you might be trying to go back into somebody else's life, but do be cautioned, Aries, that if this person is coming back, or if you are trying to go back into somebody's life, um, that this might not be the most healthy situation, okay? There might be some bumps to overcome in the road. Not saying that it can't work out, but what I am saying is that um, if you do try to revisit someone or someone tries to revisit you that you completely dropped like a hot potato, I would suggest uh, really thinking long and hard before allowing them back into your energy because this person does bring around a sense of kind of like tumultuous energy, turbulent water type of energy, okay? All right. Let's uh, pull a Romance Angel card for Aries, please. Aries, June 2018. Aries, June 2018. What do we have for the Zodiac sign of Aries? Oops, one flew out. You guys got flyers today. Wow. Okay, Aries, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Awesome card. Um, for those of you that are single, you need to know that somebody or something might be coming in to change everything here in the next couple of weeks, okay? And you'll, you'll realize kind of why you went through all this trouble um, before you know, um, so you'll understand all, all of a sudden everything will make sense because you know that this person was well worth the wait, okay? Um, some of you may have met someone that you're just like blown away by. You're like, wow, this is this was really worth everything that I went through up here, especially for those of you that are going through a divorce or other legal matters, that type of thing, Aries. Um, you know, it's worth the wait. Others of you, it might be saying, don't, you know, if you're in, if your relationship's having trouble, don't just run out the door with your hair on fire just yet, okay? Try to be patient. Take some time. Things may resolve themselves if you allow them to unfold, you know, naturally, okay? All right.
right, let's pull a uh, Wisdom of the House of Night card for Aries. Okay, awesome. Well, this is nice. This is so cute because it's kind of representative of the actual Aries energy, you know, when people aren't trying to be such jackasses to you. All right, so we have Playful. Um, you know, again, it's about remembering and realizing the joyous things in life, kind of taking time to appreciate the little things. I mean, here we've got this little tiny kitten. She's so cute, you know, just kind of like playing with this little you know, pendulum here. I mean, just being really cute and happy and fun and playful, okay? So even if you are going through something that's really difficult right now, try not to lose your sense of self, Aries, because Aries, you are a very, very vibrant sign, you know? Um, you love a good sense of humor. You love, you know, um, you love to be playful. You love to joke around. You know, most of you are just very, 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 um, you know, upbeat type of people. So try not to let this energy here, if this is kind of crowning your month, bring you down to the point where you're not appreciating um, the playfulness of life, okay? Taking taking time to appreciate the little things, if that makes sense. Okay, Aries, thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, you can find all of my information linked in the description bar down below. Okay, moving on to the sign of Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, zodiac sign of Leo for the last two weeks of June 2018. Zodiac sign of Leo, June 2018. What's in store for Leo? What advice does Leo need? What guidance does Leo need? Leo. Remainder of June 2018. Wow, Leo. Okay, so we've got the Four of Cups reversed. Somebody from your past may be returning to your life, okay? Somebody that you may have broken up with previously or kind of rejected them previously, or they may have rejected you as well. It could go either way, okay? But it does look like you might be getting news or an offer in from somebody from your past, all right? Next card we have is the Empress. Wowza. Look at that, Leo. So pregnancy is on the, on the horizon for some of you guys. If you are not trying to get pregnant, please be aware that that energy is very prevalent in your reading, okay? Um, others of you could be possibly dealing with an Aries or maybe even a Taurus, okay? Um, but we do see here uh, with the Empress, too, just somebody being very uh, beautifully in control of things, okay? The Empress has everything that she needs at her disposal. She wants for nothing. She's incredibly beautiful. Some of you guys are coming into this energy of just really, really feeling really great about yourselves. If you are male, you may have a woman coming into your life that may later turn out to be your wife um, or, you know, anybody like that. You might have a woman coming into your life. It doesn't matter if you're male or not, um, whatever your orientation is. But, um, you know, you, you may have someone coming into your life that may turn out to be your life partner, okay? Because she's the person who rules the roost. She's very much in control of her empire. She's very good at taking care of home and family. Um, some of you guys may also be dealing with your mother. Your mother may be, uh, you know, celebrating a birthday this month or, um, you know, there, it could be anything like that, but in a very positive manner. I see this coming in. Someone that may be a mother or mother-like figure, okay? The third card that you have, Leo, is the Page of Wands reversed. Some of you may be waiting to hear from another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Some of you guys may be wanting to make an offer to someone. This could be someone from your past, okay? Um, but you're kind of hesitant to do so for whatever reason. Um, some of you may be waiting for news about a new job or, you know, any, any sort of new kind of passionate beginning from this page here, okay? Um, others of you, you may be dealing with children who are a little bit unruly at this time, okay? Um, this could be a kid with the Page of Wands, uh, somebody who um, maybe talks back to you a little bit if they're, a ch if they're a child is what I mean, okay? You might be getting into an argument with your child, something like that, okay? So lots of different meanings for that card. Just apply it to your situation. All right, so let's keep going for Leo. Romance Angel card for Leo, please. What do you see for Leo in their love lives? Leo, Leo, Leo. June 2018. <clears throat> 
retreat. Okay, uh, one of the earth signs got this as well. I believe it was Virgo. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, you may, gonna want, you may want to go watch that video as well. Okay, it's time to disconnect from the world. So some of you Leos, um, you know, if, if you've been spending a lot of time away from your partner in the sense that you guys are working a lot or um, you're, not, you, you're not feeling very connected or close to them for whatever reason. I mean, life gets very busy sometimes with kids and jobs and family and other obligations, right? It might be time to just take some time out to just to spend with your partner, okay? Turn off the cell phones, get rid of the social media, just actually spending time with them talking. This could be as simple as just having a meal together where there's no, uh, no cell phones at the table. Um, this could be something where you maybe take a vacation together or some sort of a trip away Way, you know, maybe send the kids away for a weekend, something like that. But it does show a need to kind of um, spend time together in a more intimate manner where the focus is just on you and the other person, okay? Um, okay, and let's see for the Wisdom of House of Night. Sorry, one more message for that, Leah. The other thing is if you are Hey, like hot and heavy in the dating scene, okay? So maybe you're online dating or something like that. You've got a lot of suitors. Um, nothing's really panning out. It may be time to take a break from that, okay? Um, maybe take a break from the dating scene for a few weeks and just kind of like go in, inside. Take some, you know, good care of yourself. Um, take a break from all this stuff because that can be very tedious and tiring and dramatic as well. I mean, as fun as it can be, it can also be a drain on your energy too, okay? So that retreat card may mean that for you if you're single. All right, let's see here. Letting go, wow. All right, so Leo, some of you guys have something in your life that you really, really, really need to let go of, okay? This could be anything. Um, it can be, obviously, a relationship. If you have a job that is toxic or making you feel like crap, let it go, you know? Not saying run out the door and put yourself in financial distress, but what I am saying is that maybe it's time that you look for something that's going to make you happy, okay? Um, others of you, this could be about letting go of addictions or, you know, other behaviors or, or anything that might be self-destructive a little bit, okay? Um, some of you guys might just be needing to clean out your closet, organize things, okay? Getting rid of old stuff that you just don't use anymore and that's just kind of sitting around collecting dust, okay? But this is about letting go of something, okay? could be about letting go of emotions, too. It could be letting go of fear, you know, anger, um, sadness, those types of things. So you can kind of let better, positive, po more positive energy into your life, okay? All right, moving on to the zodiac sign of Sagittarius Leo. If you need to get a hold of me, um, all of my contact information is down below for personal readings, etc. All right. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay. Zodiac sign of Sagittarius, please, for the remainder of June 2018. Zodiac sign of Sagittarius, June 2018. Sagittarius, June 2018. Sagittarius, June actually had one flip over in the deck, so I'm going to yank that one out too. Okay, one more for Sagittarius, please. There we go. Okay. Sagittarius, interesting energy. Okay. Three of Cups reversed. You guys already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Some of you may be involved in a third-party situation, knowingly or unknowingly, okay? Um, apply that to your situation as it may be. Others of you may um, be unable to attend a party or celebration, something like that. Some of you, too, may be dealing with friends or people in your life that are not maybe the best characters, the best type, okay? They might have their own interests at heart only. They may not be good people for you to have around, okay? So just be aware of that with the Three of Cups reversed, all right? The Emperor reversed. Oy, oy, oy. Some of you guys, it's your boss that's driving you completely crazy or some other person in your life that likes to have control over everything. The Emperor in reverse usually I see as my narcissist card, okay? Um, he can be an Aries or a Taurus, but it, that's completely irrelevant. What this re energy really is is somebody that's very oppressive and very much likes to control the situation, okay? Nine of Cups um, reversed. 
Some of you guys, with these two cards especially, watch your drinking, uh, Sagittarius, for the rest of the month, okay? Some of you guys may be way overindulging in alcohol. If you're drinking, make sure you're not driving. Make sure you're in a safe situation with somebody sober around you that knows what's going on, okay? But do be aware of overindulgence here. This could be, you know, in the cards for some of you, okay? Others of you, um, you know, it could be feeling like a wish isn't going to be fulfilled um, in some kind of way. I wouldn't worry too much about that. I don't get this being as a permanent or long-term energy for you, Sagittarius, but you could be waiting on maybe your ships to come in and, you know, and something you're wishing for something really hard and just kind of waiting for it to come and you haven't seen it yet. Okay. So that could be something as well. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm getting for you, Sagittarius. Let's pull a Romance Angel Oracle card for Sagittarius, June 2018. Romance Angel Oracle card for Sagittarius, June 2018. Okay, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So as I was saying with that Nine of Cups reverse, if you feel like your wishes are not being fulfilled, you need to put out into the universe exactly what you want so the universe knows what to give you, okay? This could be in romance. This can be in any aspect of your life, but it is telling you that very, very soon this card is going to turn up right. You're going to have wishes granted, okay? But you have to put into the universe exactly what you want. Write it down you know, manifest it, make it real, okay? Um, make sure that you're setting your intentions clearly now so that the universe knows what to deliver you, okay? Because they want to give you something. They do, you know, there's something right there for you, like right around the corner, and they want to give it to you badly, but, um, you know, you have to tell them what you want, or otherwise they don't know. They don't know what to bring you, okay? All right. Additional guidance for Sagittarius, please. Additional guidance for Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius. So if you're wishing for love, um, yeah, it's right there for you guys, okay? you Some of you guys have love either coming into your life, okay? You may be getting out of a third-party situation, out of something that is controlling or kind of disastrous. Uh, maybe it's just a relationship based on partying and not really based on a solid foundation of commitment and moving forward, okay? Um, and going into something, a very loving relationship very soon, okay? Um, with this card too, this isn't specifically geared towards romance, but it could say romantic love is on the way for you singles. Others of you, um, you know, it's just feeling this abundance of love. Uh, friends reaching out for support, family reaching out for support, you delivering that type of love, okay? So, I mean, you've got some serious love coming in here, guys. This is really cute. And if you are single, these two cards together are telling me, like, holy crap, your, like, twin flame soulmate person is on the way, okay? Just make sure you manifest it. Manifest it as hard as you can. Do some law of attraction work. All that good stuff, okay? All right, Sagittarius, if you need to get a hold of me for any reason, including personal readings, the email address, and all the information is down below. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your month, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.